Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And today I am working on, I got to get the number again. The uh, pattern was 128794 on bracelet book. This one, I know why this one was most likely picked. It's the buttonholes. I don't typically make buttonholes in any of my bracelets. I just don't necessarily like them. Um, it's just something else to get snagged, right? I mean, they're not hideous. It's not about the the aesthetics. It's just something else to get snagged on. Um, I don't know. It's that's just kind of not my thing. But I figured I'd give it a shot, and I did. And um, some of the other elements of this bracelet, though. I really do like, and I do think I want to incorporate into something in the future. And that's like kind of more into the middle of the bracelet. Um, first part starts out with basically three chevrons. It gets this light color off to the side. This light color is the string that gets used the most in the entire bracelet. I had no trouble. Nothing seemed like it was gonna run out. I didn't have any of the peers of that kind of stuff but um, that color does get used more. So when it came to the buttonholing thing, um, I decided to work with the thickest part first and you'll, okay, so you'll see this. There's, there's a little bit of like, a, I don't know. I thought, I okay, first off, I did something wrong. That yellowy color was not supposed to go all the way out to the outside. It was supposed to bounce in. So I fixed that in a minute. Um, so that was like the first mistake. Let's see, so then I realized, nope. Flip it around, start recording again. So this comes down. Now, so this is supposed to have like four lines coming in. And when I do it and I just bring it over to the edge, it seems like it's not quite enough. So I ended up adding one more to get it to work. Um, and I think it's just, I just crushed the knot so tightly into it. But um, yeah, I think there's one extra. So I just, on the left or the right, I just remember doing it, thinking it seemed one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's on the left side. See, it looks, it's like it's way too high. I take out the knot and then I just added an extra row so that way it would fit. Um, and at this point, it really crushes it in there. And it's almost, when I look down at it, it's almost like you don't see that there's those buttonholes. It actually is so nice and tight against there. So it is what it is. I, I think it was just that the tension of my knots were so tight that I had to put in a whole extra one for that. And that might actually end up making it once everything loosens up that that side seems a little bit off. I don't know. On the other end of the bracelet, I would use a little bit more caution and try to make sure that I didn't have that same mess up. Um, so yeah, then it comes into this inner part. I kind of thought that the white string was going to get used an awful lot more. It seemed like that was kind of partly what was going to happen, but it really doesn't get used anywhere else in the whole bracelet. But this little thing that happens in the middle where it, keep, it keeps trading, you keep getting that middle orange doing the three knot. So you have the darker above it, and then you're going to have the light one below it. But that middle knot keeps doing is keeps being there. So it's dark, medium, light, medium, dark, medium. I I don't know. There's something about that, that just the way that that turned out that I really like. And that's the part that I'm thinking that might get incorporated into something else that I make. I have to see how it goes. Um, this took almost an hour exactly to make. So it is just a 12 string bracelet. Um, but it flew along. It really, well, the the whole middle of it is essentially like a big diamond, which is su super easy. Um, this other creative little whatever here 
really lends itself really well to doing uh, a segmented nodding. So uh, everything just kind of worked out really, really nicely together. Um, yeah, this was a fun bracelet. This was, I, I enjoyed myself making this one. Um, not that I don't enjoy making almost every bracelet, but some are more challenging and some get a little frustrating. And I kind of went into this going, uh, buttonholes, but it, it wasn't bad. It, it turns out that it's actually pretty neat. Um, the way that it builds the pattern, it's, it's almost like building sus a suspension. Like you want to see it done more. You want to see where that next part's coming to. And yeah, I, I liked it. I had fun. Um, yeah, we're getting towards the middle of the video now. It goes faster as we went. So um, I do want to remember to thank my uh, Patreon supporters as well as my YouTube members for making this stuff possible. Um, can you imagine me trying to do a tutorial where I tried to describe everything that I think will happen on a bracelet, but I didn't actually have the string to do it? That's what it would be like if I didn't have the support of the, these guys who throw in a few bucks here and there to make sure that the channel keeps going. Because, yeah, um, I wouldn't have known exactly what happened here because I wouldn't be actually tying the knot. You know, the, I already have the recording equipment, so I could kind of still make a video, but still need the string. Um, yeah, so here's this is the diamond I was talking about, and I kind of like the way that this actually turned out. It went so from the white to the lightest, medium, darker red, and then the it's the absolute darkest with the one just l slightly lighter in the actual center. So it actually made instead of like being on the right grit, um, scale of like light to dark, it actually changes just there in the middle, which I, I don't know. It it's just something about that that I, as I as I was making, it, I was just like, yeah, that's that's kind of neat. It just you know, it just adds a little bit. If the darkest one had just been the dot would it be as interesting i don't know maybe not you know because this is this just made it a little bit more different so yeah so this is back to doing the whole zigzag thing and you can see like i stick to the one side kind of build it up go to the other side build it up and build up the center um yeah, it really makes it so that way this stuff moves along pretty quickly. I, I really did like how that turned out. And I'm not... The way that the button holes are on this, I don't exactly hate it. It's it's not very noticeable. Um, I think the ones that get more noticed are the ones where it kind of like kind of... It's either very, very long or um it goes out and then comes back in i did some of that back piece that was that was the late 80s i did somewhere they actually kind of came out and kind of zigzagged so they kind of went around each other that was kind of fun i should maybe make one of those bracelets just for the the heck of it i haven't seen one of those in a long time so Except for now, most of my bracelets, I put the patterns on the paper. I don't think I could put that on paper. I just, in my head, already calculating out like where's, what's gonna be the problem with it. Yeah, I can't make it on paper. That's all right. I didn't need paper back in the 80s, so I can, I can do it and then just kind of describe what happens, I guess. Yeah. I'm, don't know another way of doing it. I will think about that. I will think about that. Anyways, we are getting, I am getting so far off on tangents. It's morning. I'm still drinking coffee. Um. Yep. There's the last of where the white string is. Everything starts to come in, and then 
again with the whole buttonhole thing i did the the thicker parts first and like i said i used a little bit more caution on this side i was a little bit concerned with letting it kind of go off the script so yeah um and it turned out all right it's an it's an all right bracelet hopefully you guys like it i mean you know i make it for the purpose of showing you guys what can be done and yeah it's kind of neat too how it's there's three different colors in use during this strip but one of them is just off at the edge it's not getting really used at all it's just there to give it an extra set of knots that's an interesting use of the string um whereas i might have gone you know one two three one two three this is just like one two one two one two and the third one is just there to give it you know the nicer thickness i thought that was cool and again used a little bit more caution with this little strip and then it just comes in and attaches so perfectly that was that was pretty neat. that's one of those like moments where you're just like yes <laughs> so very cool yeah little pause there to count make sure i had the right numbers to it yeah and then just a few more chevrons and it's done so yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to, again, to uh, everybody who helps to support the channel. Even if it's just by putting a like on the video, you are helping. So thank you very much for that. And um, yeah, here comes the big reveal. I, well, I've been holding it up so you kind of know what it looks like, but yeah. Thanks guys. And as always, don't get your strengths in a bunch.